Hey, so welcome back um, for the other half of the all time where I am going to start off with cancer. Um, God, will you have cancer today? Which, which message would you like for the universe to display for us? Advice, inspiration, or other wise or sign of cancer. cancer. What we got for cancer? What we got for cancer? That's two cards. What do we have? Uh, what do we have for cancer? What do we have for cancer? It'd be great if we could just get one card out here. So, sometimes these take a while. Now, it's taking quite a bit now, Cancer. Okay. Do you not want to say something? You got the Cancer. Any day now, Cancer. I'm just going to take that one right there. Okay. Open up to infinite possibilities, starfish spirit. Let's see the message for starfish spirit. Stretched out on the beach, the starfish opens fully to rays of the sun, to the power of potential. As you look out towards the horizon, do you open up to infinite possibility? Spirit is the source of opportunities beyond your wildest imagination and ensures endless possibilities are available. At this time, Starfish Spirit urges you to stretch past the limits of your everyday perception and comfort zone to dream the uh, bigger things and imagine with even greater hope and faith. For miraculous potential is shining down on you. Fill it, bask in it, and open yourself to be filled with inspiration. This is a very fortunate sign that Starfish Spirit has come to remind you of your infinite potential. Starfish Spirit urges you to stretch past the limits of your everyday perception and comfort zone to dream bigger. I needed to repeat that part. So in other words, um, cancer, that would mean, oh, well, this is not real because of this, or this is not real because of that, or, you know, uh, believe in miracles when you're dealing with the Lord, okay? That's all. So what do we got for the sign of cancer today? universe okay, three cards out here one for the past one for the current and one for the possible outcome for cancer one past card please for, for cancer we have the nine of pentacles one current card for cancer got the ace of cups speaking you didn't get to see that did you? ace of cups speaking six of cups See if the eight of cups, ace of cups come after because this show is speaking. One for the future, possible outcome. One for the possible outcome. One for the possible outcome. Eight of cups. That's opposite after ace of cups. So anyway, 
Let's get to it. In the past, I'm feeling like for you, Cancer, um, you were feeling like a seed you saw on previously or something that you worked on previously um, showed great progress or great results. You were feeling like that the fruits of your label were fruitful. Like you were uh, bringing things into fruition and um, moving closer to completion. Okay, so um, then we have the Six of Cups here um, in the current, peti current position, which is um, the past or feeling nostalgic about the past. So you could also be single, and you, uh, could be newly single. Um, and be thinking about uh, a current relationship that you that you just walked away from. Um, you could be considering going back from being single back to the person from the past that you walked away from. And here on the bottom of the deck, we also have the Six of Cups. Let's see what's on the bottom of this deck. Balance, yeah. Um, for whatever reason, you could be going back to somebody from your past. And it doesn't have to be a past like an ex. It could be like your past, somebody from a past lifetime. Okay. Um, so I want to make that clear. So when I say you're going back to somebody from the past, you don't automatically assume that it's one of your exes. It could be somebody that you dated in the past lifetime. You have no knowledge of who that person is unless you dream about them. You know what I mean? You finally didn't come. And I wouldn't be surprised because around this time, a lot of people are going into union or are preparing to work and taking steps toward it. So you could be going from being single to dating somebody. And this person could be somebody from your past life. You could be feeling nostalgic and feeling like you remember this person, that you know this person. Somebody that you could have walked away from in a past lifetime. Okay. So let's see. Why is, why is the nine of pentacles here for, for uh, cancer? Why is, why are you showing the nine of pentacles? What is this nine of pentacles here for cancer in the past? Um, we got the eight of swords. And that's a mental imprisonment. A mental imprisonment. And a ten of and a ten of wands on the bottom, which means releasing burdens. Okay, so for some of you, this could be actually a, a ex of yours that you just you walked away from, and you're in a mental imprisonment. Prison in the, in the past, you were in a mental imprisonment about going out, going out there and standing on your own, or taking a leap and being alone without this person. But you decided to go ahead. For some of you, and if some of you haven't took that leap, you're going to go ahead and take that leap. So what is this Eight of Swords, the Queen of Cups? That could be your Cancer. You'd be dealing with another water sign. But um, you felt like you was a, in a mental imprisonment. And here we got the Ace of Swords on the bottom. Um, which is some clarity or some true truth. What's this Queen of Cups? True emotion, true feelings, some clarity to get you out the mental imprisonment that was in the past. Okay, we got temperance. The universe stepping in. So, what do we have before the six of cups here for cancer? Yeah, and the current. You put it into the past. You're, you're still single. In the past, you were mentally conflicted about it because you probably had a lot of love for this person. You know, you had a lot of hope for this person. You had a lot of hope for the situation, and you was hoping that you could bring it into balance, but for whatever reason, you had to put an end to it, to the past. You put an end to the past. Put it in for That's for the person that was with somebody. For the others of you that are actually still going to be going back to a person from the past life now for some of you you're going to be walking away from a person one of your exes from the past which you did previously look like you come back maybe give them another chance and it's not working out so you putting an end to it you're going to be single what's this nine of pentacles nine of pentacles for cancer we got the hierophant yeah you're walking away um 
some of you could be married to this person. And that's probably why you went back and forth with them for so much, for so long. But this person, um, you, this person is, um, is probably like an emotion or they're probably so cold. You know, they're probably um, seem emotionless, you know. So you walking away from, what's this King of Swords? What's this King of Swords for Cancer? King of Swords for Cancer. What's this King of Swords for Cancer? King of Swords. Yeah. It's a marriage, but you want to move forward. Some of you is a marriage. And you got the Tower card coming in here to tear it apart. Somebody's going to be feeling left out in the cold when you're walking away from them. But you're going to be moving forward. What is this? Eight of Pence. Eight of Cups in the possible outcome. Cancer walking away. What is this Eight of Cups here in the possible outcome for Cancer? Possible. Yeah. You're going to be putting in the hard work here. And you got the, 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 um, the Wheel of Fortune is going to change on your favor. Um, you probably put in a whole lot of hard work to, um, a lot of hard work on your emotions as well, preparing yourself to exit the situation. Um, you've been working on actually self mastery here with the eights and with the cups and the pinnacles here. That's a balance of emotion and and earth so it's some groundedness going on it's like you've been working towards this because you you probably knew it was coming you felt it was coming and you didn't want to be left out in the cold when that tower hit you wanted to keep some stability for yourself so you knew this was coming and you were waiting on it and you've been working really hard towards making sure you don't end up left out in the cold financially when it comes to the ten of pentacles okay what is this eight how many cards is that Yeah, we got um, the Knight of Wands here on the bottom, which um, could represent some passion, could represent um, some action, some inspiration, could just be um, a person trying to come in and get some sex from you. Um, but we have the Knight of Swords here, somebody coming in and telling swift, harsh truth. And we got the Ten of Swords here. You put an end in, to it and a celebration. Because ultimately, you knew it was going to happen anyway. What is this Three Cups? Then we have um, the Knight of Cups. So this person um, could try to return. Oh, what did it? Okay, no. This person, this person had you in a third party situation, some of you. For some of you, this three is a third-party situation and not a celebration because we got the Five of Swords on the bottom with the Knight of Cups, okay? Somebody sneaky and, um, sneaking and giving their cup away elsewhere. You see what I'm saying? But I think you already knew this, and that's probably why you were preparing in the first place for this tower to hit. Because if you look back here, this person is walking towards that person, but he didn't turn around to see that this person is watching as well. So, yeah. This is Knight of Cups. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is going to turn in your favor. This is the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. You're not going to, you're going to be secure financially. And you're going to go somewhere on a new path here. I'm 13, 14 minutes in. Yeah, we got to stop clarifying like this is just one. Okay, so that's what we're going to end it here. So that's what I got for you, Capricorn. I'm sorry. I don't know why you called it y'all Capricorn. Like I started over the whole video. That was for Cancer. I'm sorry, Cancer. Not Capricorn, Cancer. This is Cancer's video. So that's what I got for the Cancers. Or the Cancer that I'm reading for a couple of you. That might not, that probably won't resonate with everybody, as we know. So, up next, we have the sign of Leo. And I'm going to write down here in a second, after I shuffle up my card a little bit, when I start Leo's. Because... 
I'm trying to do a little date stamp thing or a time stamp, whatever. You know, y'all do in the video. So people can, if they don't want to watch the whole video, they can just skip on to their sign or to their they boyfriend sign, their girlfriend sign, whoever sign they want to see. And just get them time stamps on there. That would be great. So I'm going to do that. Anyway, that's enough talk. This video is already going to be an hour. Okay, so we got Leo. We're going to mark y'all start in at 15.30, Leo. Yeah. Okay, we're going to say, okay, I'm going to have to change that in five seconds. But universe, what do we have for the sign of Leo? Messages do you got for me over today? My knee starfish. What messages do we got for Leo today? Okay. Leo. Messages do we got for Leo? See, cancer didn't come out that fast at all. They waited so long to give me a card. I think they almost had to pick their card for them. Almost, but I didn't. <laughs> Dolphin Spirit. This and that are true. This and that are true. So, um, Leo... It might not be your truth, but it might be their truth, okay? So if this and that are true, that means what is true to you may not be true to them. And what is true to them may not be true to you. But let's get in here and read what this message says. But that's what I'm feeling with that card. Everybody got their own truth through experiences. Experiences count as facts too, okay? Dolphin spirit. Like her earthly manifestation, it is a reminder of duality. As a dolphin is both mammal and sea creature. So, so two is dolphin spirit, both this and that. Two truths coexist. The story you tell and another as well. Ah. The duality of life is present when we are suffering. For there is a blessing too in helping the others that appear within clouds or silver linings. When we later reflect on what happened, we can see that the situation was both this and that. And a choice led to both joy and sorrow. No relationship is either good or bad, or all good or all bad. And people have equalities in both light and shadow. Meaning we're not perfect. Focus on the positive. For the light exists alongside the dark. Dolphin spirit calls you to come up from below and enjoy a weightless moment in the sun as you dive in and out of this and that. This and then that. Accepting and even enjoying the duality of life. Why not enjoy dolphin spirit and acknowledging the affirming the blessings present in the moment? In all areas of your life, there are aspects of both this and that. Today you can celebrate this fact and recognize the complexity and the beauty of the fabric of the universe. You are at a place right now where you, uh, where your past self is still present as you move toward the new self you are becoming. Aspects are both self and present. So even if you want to say goodbye to what was, you are required to find the solace in the in-between time. Today is not the day to choose one or the other or either but rather to accept things that are without judgment or resistance. Even in the matter of the heart, duality is present. Your next action will be obvious when you drop your bias and see things as a whole. So, for some Leos out there, you're dealing with... Uh, um, let me, how can I sum this up? Belief system. Mm. You believe this, you believe that. That's not right. That's not right. Well, people, everybody was raised different, okay? 
this person believes how they believe. You believe how you believe. You can't come in here judging nobody, okay? Judgment, leave that judging at the door, baby. Because we come in here for love. And you can't be all judging people, being critical and judging them down to the ground, okay? Because you don't do that to people you love. You don't do that to people you care about. It make them feel like shit, okay? Ain't they fault they was taught? And if you think they ain't taught right, help them. And don't be the, ah, nah, nah. Don't do uh, uh okay? Work together, basically. It's somebody in your life that you need to work together with. For some of you Leos out there, whoever that's for. Work together, okay? Take some. Take time. Pick it out. Slow roll it. But when your bias self leave, you see the end of that, you're going to stop being biased. You or somebody you're dealing with, you know. All right, can we get three cards out here for you for the Leo universe? Okay. Can we get one for the past, one for current, one for possible outcome? Can we get... One for the past. Three ones. Can we get one for the current? One for the current. For the Leo. One for the current. We got two for the current. Can we get one for the current? The high refine. How's that coming out a lot? What is this? Can we get one for the possible outcome of ten cups and two of cups on the bottom? So this could turn into a higher level of commitment or you possibly been waiting on a higher level of commitment. You're waiting to get married, waiting to propose, waiting to date somebody because you really love them. Waiting on somebody to put in some more work on the situation because you really love them. That's a new beginning down there. Okay, so what can we say here? Well, we got this three of wands here for Leo. Three of wands here for Leo. Why is the three of wands here for Leo? Why are you showing us this three of wands? What is this? The death card in the tower. Woo. Woo. Dang. The death card in the tower. That's going to be boom. Okay, you could be dealing with a Scorpio first of all. I will say that whatever you're waiting on, you need to stop it. Okay, whatever you're waiting on, you need to stop it because it's, it's, it's other stuff you need to be doing. Okay, but that's it. This is in the past. Okay, you were waiting on something, a tower come in, and you quit waiting. Cool, waiting. Um. So work together with somebody. Maybe you wanted to start a new commitment with for some of you. You could have been, I'm feeling. See, we have this third pentacles on this bottom here, okay? So we have wanting to work together. We have a two of cups here. We have the hierophant wanting to work together with somebody to start a new beginning, okay? But boom, maybe you find out this person is married, okay? Maybe you were waiting on something. And whatever it is that you were waiting on to work together on, a tower come in. And you put it into this, okay? And if you have not put it into this, you need to put it into this. Because if you don't, a tower will come in. All right, what is this tower in the death part? What is this tower in the death part? I feel like that's a big, huge karmic cycle. Uh, so, yeah, we got the, you uh, being, feeling, and, and, and feeling, and he, and, uh, sorry, having anxiety, um, feeling conflicted, uh, want just just conflicted and it's the ace of ace of cups here because about this new beginning possibly that you wanted with somebody and now you all up in your head about it what's this ace of cups what's this ace of cups no what's this ace of cups yeah because uh Somebody's waiting on something, and then they stop waiting. Cause there was some conflict around this Ace of Cups. What's this Ace of Cups? What's this Ace of Cups? Yeah, somebody got options. Somebody has options out here. 
It says Hierophant. Feeling like you have the higher ground to stand up and fight. And we have the devil on the bottom. What is this Hierophant? Yeah, somebody is juggling. Somebody is being deceptive. And you need a new way of seeing this. If you haven't walked away from this, then you need to. And if you have walked away from it, it's because you went in, you gained a new perspective, you gained a new enlightenment. Gained an enlightenment about this. And you start feeling like you had the higher ground to stand up and fight. Because you want a higher level of commitment and this person got options or this person already got a marriage. So, you're sending your queen of swords on the bottom. You're sending in your truth. Because that's not what you want. This is what you thought you was getting, and this is what you want. So you're gonna manifest something. What's this magician card? You're gonna manifest yourself the hell up out of here. This situation, I hope. So what's this magician? What's this magician? What's this magician for the Leo? Yeah. Crying over spill milk. Five of cups. Needing to feel grateful for what you have right now. Crying over the situation of a missed opportunity. But it really wasn't a missed opportunity. It was They missed the opportunity with you. Shit, this motherfucker was the one juggling. Putting you in your head, having you all confused. But that's okay because the universe is gone. You got to walk. You know, you walked away. You're going to be feeling like, you know, you might be a little down. You might be feeling a little disappointed in the situation. And that's okay. And that was the five of swords. I don't know why I put it back. You might be, because I ain't excellent. You might be feeling a little disappointed, you know, like you failed the situation, but it's not your fault if people want to have options. People be knowing what they what the fuck going on out here. Okay, what's this Ten of Cups? Ten of Cups. That's too much. That's too much, y'all. But I'm going to keep it, you know why? Okay. Um, this is the balance out of logic and emotion, okay? Yeah, you feel like you was bored. You might have felt like you missed the opportunity yeah, because that's because you all in your head about it. So I'm like, oh, I could have done this. I could have did that. No, no, no. You're going to get, this is emotion. This is logic. You balance it. Balance another two with the truth. Seeing it for what it is with this King of Swords here at the bottom. I mean, this Knight of Swords here at the bottom. This is seeing it for what it is. This is balancing out your this is balancing out your mentality and your emotions in order to, to retreat from the situation. Because either way it goes, you want to love yourself first, no matter how much you love a person. What's up with all this cheating shit out here? It just seems like somebody got options. Maybe they ain't cheat, yeah. Because you know you won't end this. You're gonna put it into this type of cycle. You don't want cycles where you're gonna end that and begin some shit. Like you some stable shit. Some real shit. You know what I mean? And then that's just also a gift from the universe. You know what I mean? For working, you know, for doing what you gotta do, for choosing you. See what I'm saying? For not letting nobody making a fool out of you. What's this ace of pentacles? What's this ace of pentacles? Ace of pentacles. Ace of pentacles. We have the hammer card I'm going within and the devil card on the bottom. I'm going within, getting rid of these toxic ways. Maybe you the person with the options. You do could, you could be the person with the options. And the person no longer you feel like that's why you feel like you done missed the opportunity with your tennis cups because you the one to project when a person. Now you crying over spilled milk because this person done figured out you got options and your ace of cups is gone. That's why the tower in the that's a powerful okay. Yeah. You know what's going on. You know which side of the story you on, Leo. So that's my story that I got for you guys. Somebody is trying to juggle and have options and still act like they want a marriage or still be in a marriage. Somebody out here feeding lies and selling dreams. Okay. And that's what I got for the son Leo. So 
Let me do this. Let me shuffle this up a little bit. I'm going to shuffle it up on y'all turn. So when I'm telling other people, oh, yeah, I got to change y'all's priority too. So when I'm shuffling, when I'm telling people, oh, your video started this time. I wanted to actually start at that time. And not I'm still shuffling. Okay. So anyway, moving right along. Next up is Virgo. Let me shuffle these cards up some. Virgo, you up? We got you down for. We gonna have you down for this. Uh, Thirty fifty five. Thirty three fifty five. No, thirty fifty five. Okay, here we go, Virgo. God, what do you have for the sign of Virgo today? What would you like for the universe to show us? Messages, encouragement, whatever you see fit. What do you have for the sign of? The card always gets so steady. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Stay out of my business. Okay. What do we got for Virgo? What do we got for the Virgo? What do we got for the Virgo? That's two. I'm not taking two Virgo. And the one for the same one that popped out for Pisces popped up here yeah. on the top. But I'm not taking two. Somebody got this cow spirit already, too, I think. Miracles are endless. It might be time to heal. Miracles are endless. A lot of people are getting this damn cow spirit. Okay, let's see what he got to say. You are at a beautiful point in your life today. For your needs are being met effortlessly in so many ways. Fully embrace this truth by focusing on all you have right now, including the positive relationships that sustain you, the work you are proud of to do to contribute to the world, the activities that inspire you and nourish your soul. Cal Spirit nudges you to pay attention because this is the perfect time to focus on your choices, actions, and behaviors that feed your soul and bring your heart contentment. Oh, it's Gemini got this. Now is also the time when you see, I mean, when you will see many of your projects and commitments that have, were set in motion in the past begin to yield valuable gifts that you will bring love and that will bring love and joy and sustain you for a long time to come. Stay positive and share your well-being with others. The more you share, the more you will manifest. Be generous. Cal Spirit promise you, you will never run out of miracles. So in other words, Virgo, focus on what you got. Don't be upset about what you don't got, what you lost, what is not. Focus on what you have right now. Be grateful every day for the things that you already have. Whatever is not yours no more is just not yours no more. You just be grateful. Like, oh, wow, I might not have that, but I'm grateful that I got this, okay? That's the kind of attitude you want to have, okay? Because that's just what you want to have. Because miracles are endless. And don't give up on your manifestations no matter what it looks like, okay? Even if, um, uh, let's see. Yeah, even if it looks like, you know, it might, like your plant. Like, say you're planting something, you're manifesting something, you're growing a plant, okay? Say it only looks like it's growing one little bud, okay? But then you give it six months, it turns out like this, okay? See all that, all those flowers it produced? around that cow yeah your miracles are endless you're gonna have a lot of stuff coming to fruition for you okay your time is coming Virgo. i remember doing a read with you guys not long ago about people trying to dim your lights okay and you're not letting them stop you so i'm sure you still should be close to that energy somewhere okay so what do we got for virgo one for the past one for the current one for the possible outcome so we have one card for the past for the sign of Virgo. 
That's too many, Virgo. One card for the past for the sign of Virgo. Okay, we have the three of cups in reverse. Somebody could be um, coming out of a third party situation. Somebody could be coming out of a commitment, a partnership, um, a signed agreement. What is a card for the current energy for Virgo? Somebody in the star card. Yeah, with this ten of pentacles on the bottom, this definitely could have been a third party situation. Could have been a marriage or somebody may have been cheating. I'm not sure. Let's just get some clarification first. Get one for the current possible outcome card for Virgo. Possible outcome for Virgo. And possible outcome for Virgo. Yeah. The two of swords. Three of uh, pentacles on the bottom. Wanting to put the work in. That's two threes. So, yeah, somebody's coming out of a third party situation. Somebody is. That's some Virgo out there. That's for a few of you. Now you're feeling enlightened and you're healing. And uh, coming up here in a possible outcome, you're going to have some kind of decision to make. And you're going to feel like you can't make it. Like you don't have enough knowledge. Like you can't see the direction in which you need to take. Okay, so why do we have this three of cups in the reverse here for Virgo in the past? Why did you show us this three of cups in reverse for Virgo in the past? Three of cups for Virgo in the past. Three of cups for Virgo in the past. This is three of cups for Virgo in the past. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Put the strength card on the bottom. Well, we have the three of swords here for Virgo in the past. Just, yeah, Wounded Warrior. And we got the star card on the bottom again. We got Wounded Warrior card here. So, this could definitely be a third party situation where the karma spun around and enlightened, shined enlightenment on the whole situation. And now you have freed yourself from it. And yes, you are in hurt, a lot hurt with the nine of wands here. You are really hurt. But with these nine wands here, that lets me know that even though you are hurt, you are still carrying burdens from the situation whether it be financial obligation um some something you hold it on to you're still carrying all the burdens even though you have exited the situation so let's this nine of wands let's see what this nine of wands is you could be possibly holding on to the hurt and this could be all them burdens all that hurt you could probably be holding on but you got healing in your current position with the star card right here. So if that's what the, was the case where you were constantly holding on. Uh, strength card here again on the bottom and the hangman. Yeah, going in and gaining a new perspective. Gaining enlightenment. Ga and gaining enlightenment and also gaining the strength to move forward and begin this healing. And currently you are undergoing healing, Virgo. And it is requiring a lot of strength out of you. Okay. I don't know. You get I'm gonna put this over here on the hangman because I didn't ask for nothing on the star card, but we got the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you gain this enlightenment, it must have showed you a way to something very stable here because you have the ace of pentacles here on the bottom with the eight of swords. Okay, feeling enlightened, okay. But you also are feeling a mental in prison, like you want to get to this, but you can't. You don't see your way. You don't see a way in how to get to this. So with the hanging man um, and the star card here uh, next, I'm feeling like, uh, yeah, you for this hang for a while, you might have been in this hanging man position. And even after you come from the hanging man position on gaining your new perspective, you still were trapped into your mind a little bit because 
you didn't want to see the way. Even though the way was presented to you, you didn't want to take that way. That was probably not a way that you wanted to take to your Ten of Pentacles, but it was the way that you needed to take to your Ten of Pentacles. So, let's got we got the star card here. What's the star card here in the current current position for Virgo? We got Temperance bringing in the balance, and we have Ace of Cups on the bottom. You working with the universe, getting healed, doing your healing. So I'm assuming that um, it could have been a little resistance here in the past too. You could have been resisting the path. Maybe it wasn't didn't look the way you wanted to look. And we got the Six of Pentacles on the bottom, which correlates what I said about the universe working with you to bring in the balance and heal yourself. Okay, so what is this Temperance card? We got the Six of Wands with the Tower card on the bottom. Six of Wands with the Tower card on the bottom. Okay. Um, feeling victorious. Like you're feeling victorious, like you can stand up and fight for her. What is the Seven of Wands here? Tower on the bottom. It could be something. Okay. The King of Swords. The King of Swords and the Emperor. Ooh. That's a good combination right there. Okay, so the King of Swords being present here with the Emperor. I'm feeling like you, um, you are, see, we got the Emperor there. And then we got that, where's that decision card at? See that? You still, in the Wounded Warrior position over here, you still hold, you got this Two of Swords in the future. You realize to make this decision, you got to put down burdens. And smooth go over the common waters. But your emperor here, he's in the prior, he's in the way. He's in the way of this decision here. You know why he's in the way of this decision here? Because it's so much logic. Only logic. How can you make a good decision with that, Virgo? You so analytical so analytical and so logical. You just logic it. Logic, logic, logical. Well, what this is what I want to know. You you date me, okay? I break your heart. It, I date somebody else. I don't break nobody else's heart but yours. So everybody else is telling you that I am not no heartbreaker. I'm a good woman. But you know for a fact that I broke your heart. So you're going to go on the facts because several of the motherfuckers are saying that I didn't. Or you're going to go by your experience and say that I definitely broke your heart. Yeah, you're going to go on your experience and say that I definitely broke your heart. You know why? Because your heart feels it. But there's no heart here. The emperor thinks, oh, I'm the boss. I run this. Nobody can say nothing. Shut it down. The mind this. The mind runs this. The mind strong. I'm head strong. I'm head strong. Nobody can tell me nothing. I got it. Okay. That's how you are approaching this with the situation, I feel like. And I don't know if that is the best idea. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and say it. It just seems like you're not trying to work. It just seems like you don't want the path. And even though you don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. Or maybe this is the ex coming back and you don't want to get a new beginning with them, you know? Well, it is. It is the ex coming back because we got the eight of cups. Or are you going back from something? Maybe you're going to try to go back and forgive this third party situation and start a new beginning with them. That's what you're doing currently. Not standing in your truth. You're going, you're using all that. Okay. Let's see what this ace of cups reverse is. Well, we got this ace of cups reverse. Maybe somebody's coming back to you. Okay, no, you're going after somebody. Okay, this is where this is where bring it in, bring it back, Virgo. We got this Queen of Cups here, could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. Okay, so here we go. You bring it in emotion. That's what that looks like. You done missed an opportunity somewhere. You done put somebody in the third party situation, huh? You the third party putter. Okay. Either that or somebody's getting, I, I, you going back to a past person. You're leaving a person to go back to a past person. I don't know. I would prefer to think of it as you done put somebody in a third party situation versus you're leaving somebody to be with somebody. So you done put somebody in the third party situation. Okay. Now, possibly they done walked away from you now the third party situation is over you gonna go back and walk go back to this person that done walked away from you because you don't want them to walk away from you okay and you're gonna bring in this emotion because you feel like they missed the offer and you 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 want to go wait on the ships to sail in with them 
That's so weird. You put down them burdens. Them burdens, I was saying, that was in your way of making that decision. You done put them down, huh? Because look, the decision is up next. Here it is. The decision is up next. What decision shall you make? What shall you make? Are you you bringing it? You feeling like right now somebody done walked away from you. You feeling like somebody that you got love for. And it ain't all logic. You got your love, your heart coming out. Possibly. You feel like you missed the opportunity with this queen of what? The queen of cups in the current opportunity. You feel like this queen of cups could have walked away from you. And now she has a missed opportunity. So let's see what this decision is. Decision making is up. What you going to do? Emperor. Virgo. You going within some more? You ain't winning enough over the last couple years? <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just saying, Virgo. But you know you be going in all the time. How long it take? Make a damn decision already. Shit, you in life. You got all the choice. Oh, you got this star card here. The emperor might be here and logically, but he got love and he gonna open up his heart. He gonna... He gonna go. He's enlightened. He is. This is a wish fulfillment. He gonna go get it with this chariot here. What's the star card in the emperor? Clarify the star card in the emperor for Virgo. Or she. Somebody going to get something. But I just feel like it's the Virgo. And I just say he because it sound. I don't know. I guess women to be this persuasive for, for this pursuing. I mean, I guess. But we might. I don't think we go this far. We might. Hell, I don't know. I'm speaking. I'm not speaking for nobody. Star card and the Emperor. Star card and the Emperor. Could be dealing with the Aries. Could have Aries in your chart. Star card and the Emperor, please. What's the star card and the Emperor? Yeah. Yep. They go in the, the Virgo. The Ann Hermit popping out. Higher level of commitment. He ain't trying to see this person single. Either you did he's getting divorced or he's getting married. She's getting divorced or she's getting married because... Somebody that wants to be single or don't want somebody single because they love them. Some tired moment done come in about the wrong decision they done made to juggle somebody. Ooh, the empress. You done juggled the empress. Oh, hell no. You done juggled the empress. What's this hyperfont, Virgo? Hyperfont. Something you've been thinking about a long, long time. Something that you think got potential. Ooh. You're going to come out to, for the King of Pentacles, but that's something you want to spend some money on, huh? Because that is you, Virgo. That's you. Some you, ooh, fast communication that you feel crying over spilled milk that you didn't lost your wish fulfillment. And you want to start a new world. Start a new cycle. Start a new cycle. What's this Knight of Pentacles real quick? I'm sorry. You're going to be nosy. Oh, we got to keep going, Virgo. Well, oh, we got that Two of Swords again. An illusion. So, when you're making your decisions, careful of illusion. Careful of the snake in the cup. Okay? Careful of working with the wrong person. Because you was in an illusion. Alright? Okay. That's what I got for you, Virgo. Good for you. Good for you. I hope that works out. Anyway, moving right along. Who we got next? Libra. 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 Do you love me? Are you riding? Okay. No? Alright. Okay. So... <laughs> I'll be tripping. No. I don't know. I don't know. I like that sometimes. Okay. okay. There we go. Okay. What am I saying? Did I call y'all Leo? I'm sorry if I called y'all Leo. I'm going to start y'all at. 49.45. Okay, and here we go. Libra, you're up. God, what do you have for Libra? Messages would you like to show the Libra today? Inspiration, encouragement, or otherwise? Universe, what do you got for us today? What messages are you delivering for the sign of Libra? Wow, Libra. Time to heal. Time to heal, Libra. It was in reverse, so a lot of you Libras could be coming out of healing. A lot of you Libras could be trying to avoid the healing, but it's time to heal. And if you healed, good for you, okay? Moving right along, let's read this book. What does it have to say for us in healing? All of us need healing at 
times. And when snake spirit appears, it is time to repair, renew, and replenish yourself and your valuable heart, vulnerable heart. Self-care and maintenance work are needed so that you are vitally that your vitality can arise. Give yourself the space to nourish your own well-being. Vulnerability is necessary for friendship and partnerships to work. When which means all of us will have to tender have tender emotions at times. Be gentle with yourself and others now. Shed the past and share it, step into a new way of being. For vitality is rising in you. It might be a good time to honor the work you have done to heal, grow, and repair any damage within you, within those you care about, and within your community. Celebrate together how far all of you have come in healing journey and all that you have created. Unburden yourself of anything that no longer supports wellness, prosperity, positive relationships, and well-being, and open the door for healing to occur. So for some Libras, yes, sorry. For some Libras, you guys uh, are healing. Some Libras needing to heal. Some Libras are just coming out of healing with that popping out of in the reverse. Some Libras have actually healed from situation. Some Libras are going into healing from situations. So let's see what's going on with your Libra. Okay. All right, Libra. What do we got for Libra? Three cards, one for the past, one for the current, and one for the possible outcome for the sign of Libra universe. One, pos one past card. One card for the past. One card for the past for Libra. A card for the past for Libra. One card for the past for Libra. We got the Hierophant in reverse. Somebody could be going through a divorce. Somebody could be going through um, having their belief shake their belief system shaking up and I'm feeling more for some of you a lot of you this is a divorce that you're coming out of healing are going to need to be headed into healing what is the current energy for Libra too many current energy for Libra please one card one card for the current energy of Libra one card for the current energy of Libra justice if that's, if that's the Libra card showing up Libra, you are present with the Justice card, with the Queen of Swords, which I'm not going to take that because I didn't ask my question. Universe, what do we have for the last card and the possible outcome for Libra? Possible outcome for Libra. Too many. Possible outcome for Libra. 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 Thank you. And we'll take those if they feel together. This one feel by itself. We got the Four of Pentacles here, the last card, and the Chariot here on the bottom. So somebody is leaving a marriage, getting a divorce. Um, for somebody, some for a few of you, your belief system could be shook uh, with justice here next to it. And for the rest of you that are leaving, this some every not everybody is leaving the marriage, okay? But the ones that are leaving the marriage, you don't feel like this is fair. You feel like justice. You you feel like this is not balanced. You want to bring justice. You want justice in the situation um, for whatever reason. Um, and you might be currently holding on to the fact that you want justice or you could be working on your own stability and moving forward by yourself with the chariot in the bottom what is this hierophant and the reverse for leo i'm glad i didn't put leo you're not leo you're libra this is the king of cups right here okay the king of cups but we're not going to keep it because i need to switch over to this deck where you got the king of wands on the bottom but the king of cups okay this would be somebody you have a whole lot of emotion for okay this could be somebody you um could be a water sign that you were dealing with could be somebody that you've been with for a long time and put a whole lot of love and effort to okay why is the hierophant here for the sign of libra in the past why did you show us the hierophant here the sign of Libra in the past. Why is the Hierophant here for the sign of Libra in the past? What's this Hierophant in reverse for Libra in the past? 
Hierophant in reverse for Libra in the past. Why did you show us this Hierophant in reverse for Libra in the past? Hierophant reverse for Libra in the past. Hierophant reverse for Libra in the past. Too many cards for Libra in the past. <laughs> Sorry. How many cards? I mean, how much? What's this Hierophant in reverse for Libra in the past? Hierophant for reverse. Hierophant in reverse for Libra in the past. Can't even get my words right. Hierophant in reverse. Well, what do you look at that? He was supposed to be here, huh? He was really supposed to be there. Somebody you have a lot of love for. But when love and logic balances, you know you don't want to be in this marriage. You know you don't deserve to be in this marriage. You know that you don't deserve whatever it is that is being causing you a lot of strength. What is this king of hearts? This king of cups and this king of queen of swords doing here? What's this king of cups and queen of swords? It's moving away, sailing away to calmer waters. Okay, because you're going to put the burdens down. Because this, you don't want to deal with all of this. All of whatever it is, um, it's time to heal. Okay, it's time to heal. It's time to get away. What is this six? The six of swords here in the past. Yeah. You're walking away. You're walking away. That's good. You're walking away. Or was something that you would something that was a happy, stable home at one point. What's this justice card in the current position for Libra? Yeah, somebody had options. Options here. Virgo just got done with the divorce thing. You dealing with a Virgo? With the King of Pentacles here showing up? You could be dealing with a Virgo and y'all could be divorcing each other. They could have been putting you in a third party situation. Sorry, Virgo. Or you could have been putting them in a third party situation. Or you could just be uh, very stable here. Something is, you, a decision is needing to be made here. And you feel like you don't have enough clarity. That's why I said this, this is the same thing Virgo had. Said so Virgo was making the decision in the out, in the out, the current, that not in the current, but in the future, and you're making it now. Well, they made two decisions in Virgo, but they walk, they didn't walk away in the past. Wow, this is so weird. Maybe you walked away in the past, and now you were feeling conflicted about walking away, and you want to go back. Okay, I don't know. Let's see what this two of swords is. What's this two of swords? I'm just trying to put y'all with the Virgo, ain't I? What's this two of swords? What's this two of swords? Yeah, you feeling conflicted because you want to use your intuition and manifest you something, but you're just so used to being stable and comfortable here. So it's a hard decision, but you should never question your intuition. Your intuition takes power over everything. It's nothing to be questioned with your intuition inside. Okay, what's this? What's this high priestess here? Or it could be the unknown. And that's why the high priestess also represents the unknown. And that's why you don't know. And that's why you feel like you don't have a, this decision. You probably need to decide to go into the unknown since you don't know anyway. Why not? I'm just saying. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Which is something that you've been thinking about for a long, 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 long time now. Or something that you've been invested in for a long, long, long time. Something you've been working on for a very long time. Yeah. You, you love this person. You was with them for a very long time. And that's why you're so conflicted. Yeah, I built so much memory, so much everything. You're so conflicted. Um, working together. What is this, Tui? Are you coming back? Two of Cups. Are you leaving somebody for somebody, too? What the hell is this going on out here? What are y'all doing on? Doing in this, this retrograde out here, man. What are y'all doing? Got that four pinnacles trying to come out again. What's this, Two of Cups? Yeah, some strength. It's, it's the past. Some of you the insurance, are you still moving on? 
you, you're healing. Like the snake spirit says, it's time to heal. You're healing still from the past of something not working out for you. And you're probably holding on to it with this four of pentacles right here. Like we don't know though. Let's see what's this four of pentacles. What's this four of pentacles here? Four of pentacles for the possible outcome for the Libra. Juggling. The five of one. Five of yeah, juggling, trying to be by yourself and manifest something else. And juggling being the queen of pentacles because uh, the king of pentacles is here. He's stable. This is just energy you can embody because um, your card is already here. It's a Libra here. So you're, you're juggling. You're struggling. You're juggling the thoughts. You're juggling. You're holding on to what used to be. And you're juggling the idea of going back and being single. But screw that. It's too much. What, what are you going to do out here? What are you going to do? Um, you're going to be staying in your mind that you're going to be putting them burdens down. What's this Eight of Swords here? Libra, don't do it. Libra, don't do it. What's this Eight of Swords? I think I'm going to you and Virgo are dealing with each other. Yeah. Ten of Cups. That might be you dealing with a Virgo. Ain't you? Some of y'all dealing with a Virgo. Some of y'all dealing with a Virgo, but that's what I got for you. Self-love is the best love. Time to heal. Time to heal, sweet pea. If you think you can go back, you can't go back. So nobody treat you like that. To put you in a third party situation or whatever this is. It don't even look like y'all had nothing bad blood right here. It just look like shit. It didn't work. Somebody got options. One. Now you want out this marriage or this commitment. Here. Contract. Fulfilled. Time to heal. Okay. So that's what I got for Libra. I guess, guess we're moving on to Scorpio. We got Scorpio. Then we got Sagittarius. So, let me shuffle this up again. I knew this was going to take me at least an hour. So, I wanted to get it done and then post both of the videos at the same time, even though I did the other one earlier. And I had to get, and I got busy. And I was just going to stick them together. But I, I said, nah, it's okay. I'll just leave them as a part one. Part two. And by the time y'all wake up tomorrow on the weekend or whatever time it is in y'all zone, the videos will be there. Okay. Or if y'all, this this is already daylight. Some of y'all, it's still daytime for some of y'all. Hell, yeah, it's getting late over here in Indiana. I'm from Indiana. A lot of Black Life Matter protesting going on here because uh, it's just a lot. I mean, the whole world is protesting for the Floyd, George, George Floyd, or Floyd George. I might be saying it wrong, but forgive me. Um, and we also had this guy named Deshaun Reed get shot. Deshaun, Deshaun, I might pronounce it wrong, but he got shot a lot of times by the police. So his parents are still fighting for justice here. So, yeah. It's a lot going on here in Indiana as well. It's a lot going on all over the world, right? Anyway. Okay. My other phone's got an alarm clock on it. I just turned that sucker on today. And after I don't know how long. And it's just getting all kind of alarms. Okay, so I'm going to start. Um, one hour and four minutes. And 25 seconds on Scorpio. God, what do you have for the sign of Scorpio? What signs do you see fit for the sign of Scorpio today? What messages would you like to show them? Inspiration, encouragement, or other guides. What do you have for the sign of Scorpio? Dang, Scorpio. <sighs> I did some squats today and I think I can feel the burn. <laughs> Y'all, if I give me a little butt. So I didn't need a little seven minute butt workout on the app. Boy. Anyways, back to it. Scorpio. 
y'all wasp scared for Scorpio. Sometimes life stings. Yeah, I know you know that, Scorpio. Especially when you the one putting the stinger out. You be putting that stinger out, but now somebody done stung your ass and you don't like it. No, I'm just playing. I'm sorry. I don't want to be insensitive. That was a little joke, but that was kind of insensitive, wasn't it? That was an insensitive-ass joke to do. I don't even know what the situation is, but let me read it. It stings, though. Whatever it is, it hurts. And that's okay, because we all hurt. Okay? Not all the spirit, not all the spirit creates in nature is easy to love. But when we look through eyes of wasp spirit, we recognize that even through time, some, even though sometimes life stings, there is a pure purpose for the pain. A pure purpose. Sorry. There is a purpose for the pain, just as there is a purpose for wasp in the natural world. Wasp keeps insect populations down, supporting the growth of plants. So too, the life. So so too. The sting of life may hurt, and you may feel deeply disappointed or even resentful that wasp spirit has shown up. But you will soon come to see that spirit has something wonderful for you in store. You may welcome. You may well come to realize that being stung led to something far better than you had envisioned for yourself. Perhaps behind the scene, wasp spirit is conspiring with spirit to ensure that you could grow something you value that uh, value to you. Spirit has a plan, and wasp spirit plays a part. Have you ever looked back and been glad your prayers weren't answered because of the path you took led to something far better? Wasp spirit is just a reminder to reflect on those times. For today may sting, for today's sting may hurt, but something better awaits you. One door closed, something better open. So it might hurt, but you got something greater. It get greater later. That's what my mom used to say. It gets greater later. Greater later. Okay, so. Ooh. You gonna fling my book at me like that? That's how you feel? No, that's fine. Okay. So what do we have for the Scorpios? They seem a little fight in this video. With the wasp spirit. Maybe they doing the stinging. I'm just playing. Let me not play with them right now. Okay. What do we have for Scorpios? We need three cards out here for the past, the current, and the possible outcome for Empress. The bottom for the sign of Scorpio. So we get a card for the past for Scorpio. A past energy for the sign of Scorpio. The Queen of Swords. I like that. Starting off standing in your truth. We get another one for the current. Heartbreak. We get another one for the possible outcome. We have illusion in the sun, but we be having options of where you have happiness. I don't know. Let's see. Can we get another card for the outcome for the sign of Scorpio? That's too many, Scorpio. One card for Scorpio, please, for the possible outcome. One card. One card, Scorpio. Okay, four swords. Okay. Got ten of wands on the bottom. Putting them burdens down. Okay, let's see what we got on the clarification. We have the Queen of Swords here in the past for the sign of Scorpio. Universe, why did you show us this Queen of Swords for the past? Sign in the past for the past energy for Scorpio. Why is this Queen of Swords here for Scorpio? What is this Queen of Swords for Scorpio? What is this Queen of Swords for Scorpio? The Magician. Stand it in your truth. Aligning with your destiny. Possibly walking away from stuff. Of course you're walking away from stuff. Because when the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords pop up, a lot of shit you cut out. You start walking away from a lot of shit. Something in particularly caused heartbreak. Whether you walk by, walked away from it or walked away from you, it is not there. You are in your truth. Maybe you are wanting to manifest this back. You are in whatever it is. You are wanting to align with your purpose, your destiny. And this could rip you away from people. That it may hurt. What is... What is this magician card? Uh, 
all these cards came out in reverse. I'm sorry, I just don't feel like we're supposed to take those. But what is this magician card for the sign of Scorpio? Magician for the Scorpio. Magician. Okay, so we got that Ten of Pentacles on the bottom. We got the Five of Swords, which is conflict, and the Seven of Pentacles, which is feeling like you put in work and didn't get any reward in return. So, because of that, you could be kept feeling conflicted and hurt. Some people could see things different from you. Perspectives could be different. And that could be why people are not seeing eye to eye here. What is this seven of... Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords, please. Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Okay. This is sideways. So, um, this could put your life off of off of balance. It could be in a person giving to two. It could be that you are giving more than someone else is giving. Okay. What is this Three of Swords in the current position? Somebody is hurt. Currently, Oof. and because they are hurt, they are making this judgment call. Just they want justice to be served, um, and it's t and they are taking action on a new journey, taking this leap of faith. What's this Queen of Wands here? Yeah, taking action on walking away. And sailing away to calmer waters. Okay. Walking away. And sailing away to calmer waters. What are you walking away from? It could be a turk, a towards Virgo, a Capricorn. You're walking away from something that is possibly taking too long. Something you had thought about for a long time. Something that has been stable for a long time. Something that you have been holding on to. For a long time, but it just doesn't align with your truth. What is this Knight of Pentacles? Something that you need to make a decision. A decision that you need to go and gain a new perspective on. So that's how you feel like you can't make it. Page of Wands. A burst of new energy. What is this Two of Swords here? This decision. It's the Six of Wands. Something that is going to make you feel victorious once you make it. Okay? This could be revolving around your stability. This could be revolving around an earth sign. Let's see what this Four of Swords is. We have the Queen of Cups. This could be you, Scorpio. You could be taking a rest and retreating in order to replenish yourself, to nourish yourself, to put some love back into yourself because you are all in your head about something. What is this Queen of Cups? Oops. A wish fulfillment. You could be dealing with another water sign that you see as a wish fulfillment. As the end all be all. Somebody you want to commit to. But something just don't line up. Okay. But it's burning something. And you want to put burnings down because you feel like it's secrets. Or maybe it's not secrets, maybe it's unknown, but you need to go within to figure it out how you get to the Ten of Cups. Because it is something that you are missing here. Something that you find within you that you don't find outside of you. You're only going to find it within you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. You're looking without of you. The King of Pentacles is looking without or materialistic on the outside. The Queen of Pentacles looks more within okay so you're looking with that, looking outside yourself for answers that you need to look within your within yourself for okay feeling nostalgic about the past this could be revolving a past life something that you feel like you were confused about like you feel it but you don't feel it we have the king of swords here matching up with the queen of swords so this could be a pair Okay, we have wanting to stabilize the situation, wanting to move into a celebratory energy, transformation on the bottom, something needs to be transformed here, something that you don't see, a 
okay? You need some enlightenment on the situation. Feeling bored with it, feeling like you missed it. Just listen to your intuition, listen to the universe, okay? Put that heartbreak behind you. Feel the heartbreak. The heartbreak is probably the problem, and that's why you need to retreat. And once you retreat, you will go get your twin flame, your wish fulfillment. This is a twin flame reading, huh? And, you know, the king of wands popped about, but I put him back in for whatever reason. Because I'm sure he'd be out here. The wish fulfillment card just popped out. I'm sure he'd be out here had I not put him back in. Yeah, you're going to be moving forward in your truth. You're going to be coming out of that mental imposing, you know. And I'm sure, you know, the, the king of wands, the knight of wands, the king of wands, he should have been out here already. But... I put him back. And the reason I'm saying it is because that's my divinely guided pair. But we have the King and Queen of Swords here as well. Um, so it's a lot of love for a situation, but um you can't bring hurt from the past into situations from you know that you're trying to make a future out of. The past has to stay in the past and the future has to stay in the future. So it may sting and it might hurt to tell this person, hey. I ain't ready. I need a little time. I need to heal. Whatever the case may be. Or this person might need to heal from you. And that might sting. Because they just need some time. And you just want equal give and take. And they can't give because they're in the process of healing. So it might seem like they're just taking, taking, taking. But that's why people got to heal. Heal, heal, heal. Somebody got to heal. And it's going to hurt. But it's got to be something. Got Something got to give. Okay. Just give, give some time. Be patient. Enjoy the sting part of life because once you make it through that sting, you'll be happy for the outcome. Life does sting sometimes, Scorpio. And you might not feel it much because you won't let the end of that sting. No, I'm just fine. But I'm just trying to make light of the situation. So moving right along. The last line on the list, Sagittarius. Okay. This one took a little longer than the last one, but that's okay. That's okay. I ain't doing nothing else right now. I already did everything I needed to do. So, get it get get started with the sign of Sagittarius here. Okay. So we're gonna let y'all down to one hour, eighteen minutes, and fifteen seconds. Scorpio, not Scorpio, I'm sorry. Why am I getting y'all mixed up with this little Scorpio? Sagittarius, I'm so sorry. All right, what messages do you have for the sign of Sagittarius? Whether it be advice, encouragement, or otherwise, please show us a message that we need to see for the sign of Sagittarius. So, universe. Universe. What do we got for the sign of Sagittarius? What do we got for the Sagittarius? What is this alarm keep going off? Time is way off on that phone. Sagittarius. 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 I need something for the Sagittarius. There we go. Ant spirit. That's the same thing Pisces got. You can be doing with a Pisces, huh? Two signs got the same thing. But Ant, time to collaborate. Somebody might need to work with somebody. Okay. I'm going to read it again so you ain't got to go back. Because I know somebody's like, I'll go back. I'll pull the same card for such and such. Now we're going to just read it to you. Okay. When Aunt Spirit comes to visit, it's time to celebrate the benefits of working in a partnership with others as a part of a community or tribe. Spirit reminds you that to build your dream, you need to work with others. Accept help and trust in your import. Trust in your most important partnership, the one you have with spirit. Your intentions will come to fruition if if you remain awake and focused on co-creating you, your reality with others and with spirit. Remember that the world you, around you can easily seduce... One second. Sorry about that. Can easily seduce you if you don't have some sort of practice or discipline like meditation to keep you on track as you build the life you desire. 
Connecting to others and having accountability partners can be very helpful. It is unlikely that everyone will fall asleep at the same time. The other message and spirit holds is that you are now in an auspicious time to ask for help and receive it. Whether you need help assembling a team, finding a new tribe, or questioning, requesting assistance from others who are there for you, everything is working to support you right now. So pray. Say a prayer. Whatever you need to answer to, pray for it. Okay? That's it. I got a different message for you guys with that card. You need to say a prayer for whatever it is that you want. You ask and you shall receive. Okay? All right. Let's see what we got for the Sagittarius. Can we get three cards out here? Can we get one for the past. Can we get one for the current? Can we get one for the possible outcome? Get a card for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay? We got for the past that is smoking and this ashtray go out. Shit. Sorry. We got one card for the past for Sagittarius. One card for the past for the past for the Sagittarius. One card for the past for Sagittarius. We got the Page of Wands. A little fire energy coming out. Uh, a new spark. A spark, a new idea. A new burst of energy. We get one out here for current energy for Sag. We got the Justice card. I know that I've seen that there a couple of times. Can we get another for the? Can we? Oh, look, I accidentally put that in reverse. Can we get another card for the possible outcome for Sagittarius? One card for possible outcome for Sagittarius. One card for the possible outcome. We got the Eight of Swords. Mental imprisonment with the Queen of Swords, but she was in reverse on the bottom. So somebody might not be aligning with their truth. Somebody might not be aligning with their purpose. It could be why you need to collaborate with spirits. Okay. Level up spiritually with the higher fine at the bottom. Okay. This is page of wands here for Sagittarius. Why'd you show me this page of wands here in the past for the sign of Sagittarius? What is this page of wands here for the sign of Sagittarius? What's this page of wands here? Okay. We got two cards out there. We got the two of cups. A passion and new idea or a spark. Wanting to work together with somebody possibly to bring in uh, a, a, a new emotional connection. To start a new relationship, a contract, something that gives you anxiety. Can we get something on this? Two of Cups, Nine of Swords. We have the Two of Wands, the Fool card, and the Emperor. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries. Okay, but the Emperor is um, structure, beliefs. You know, the Emperor has discipline. Um, and he matches the full card. If you match the, the full card with the emperor, there are the complete opposites. So, um, they actually bring balance to the situation. Um, it could probably get you out of this anxiety in order to, uh, make this decision to, 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 to follow up on a decision that you look like you already made a decision. Um, something around a new commitment and emotion. And we got the Queen of Swords on the bottom. What is this Justice card? What is first? What is this two? Hold on, I'm sorry, y'all. First, what is this two of wands here in the past? What is this decision that got made? What's this decision? The hanging man. You went in and gained a new perspective. Because at first you was not aligned. Now it looks like you might be, okay? We got the Queen of Swords here who stands in her truth who cuts out anything that does not serve her. Now... This, this 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 commitment, this contract, this two of cups, it could have got cut out. It could have been something you were bored with. So I did some something that provided you with discontentment. What is this justice card? What is this justice card here? The ace of cups. Okay, it could be an emotional new a new beginning. Okay, that's gonna be a good emo a new start in emotions. Okay, but you are trying your hardest here. To balance it out, but you do 
you will be putting an end to the anxiety, the mental stress, um, because you feel like you have the higher ground to stand up and fight for this new beginning and emotion. What is the Seven of Wands here? What is the Seven of Wands here? Why are you feeling like you have the higher ground to stand up and fight? Uh, because this person makes you extremely happy here. We have the Ten of Cups here on the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Pentacles coming out here. Um, what is this? You want to marry this person? Possibly you want everything with this person. You see potential, a lot of potential in this person. And you want to uh, have some discussions around this offer with, the, with whoever this person is. What's this Page of Pentacles? What's this Page of Pentacles? See, there's a lot of love in the air here. Feeling somebody could be this could be somebody from your past. It could be somebody from a past life. It's a lot of people dealing with past life, but it's this six of cups here. You are juggling. Juggling. Of course you're juggling because you're too much in your mind and not enough in your heart. So you don't know. You don't know what to do here with this new beginning. You're juggling it. But it's stable. You're just gonna need some strength here. It's a it's passion in the beginning. Okay. Um, well, I dropped everything out. Okay, so what is this two of pentacles here? What you juggling? Two of pentacles. The ace of swords. You need clarity, you juggling clarity with your intuition and want to work together and being trapped in your mind here. But you want a higher level of commitment with this person. Maybe you were too trapped in your mind and this person don't got time for that. And they let you know, oh, this is what I want. And you want to take that new beginning, but you're so stuck in the way you, you're, normal, you're normally used to being. So, your intuition is here popping up with the Ace of Swords, letting you know that you already know what to do. You already know, you already have the clarity. You already know that you need to put the work into something, working together towards higher level of commitment. What is this Eight. Yep, higher level of commitment with somebody you love. Could be a water sign. Okay, what is this Eight of Swords and a possible outcome? Possible outcome that you stay in your mind because of situations you've been through in the past. Okay, more staying in your mind energy because of the past. Okay, stuff you walked away from. This got victorious here on the bottom. So let's see. Are you? What's this Eight of Cups? What's this Eight of Cups here? person that walked away because you two in your head yeah they because you too unsure about what you want to do you know you need to make sure you be sure to bring the balance into the situation because you have everything you need you are enlightened okay don't turn this into a heartbreak when you can turn this into a wish fulfillment okay you are a wounded warrior but guess what the wish fulfillment card is right behind it let's see what this moon card is that's too much See what this moon card is. This moon card. I feel like this person just don't want to deal with you because they don't want to, you know, they don't want heartbreak. They don't want their heart to be broken. Okay. And you don't seem sure because you some women in your head, but you really do want this. You really do want to nurture the situation. You want to come in and bring some stability to it. But for whatever reason, you just all in your head. What would a Sag do? Justice. Okay, justice is there again. What would Sag do? Oh my gosh. Sag, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to get that wish fulfillment. Okay? I feel like you're going to um, deceive yourself. It's going to be sending like the first person. Is gonna, this person is going to be calling justice on you. You know why? Because they're going to feel like you're deceptive, that you're lying about something. And really, you are. They are your wish fulfillment. You are theirs. You're going to come in with this offer. And you guys are going to swim away some calm water. You know, you could be dealing with um, a water sign. You see what I'm saying? You're going to put in the hard work. You know what I mean? Because this is a sun car here. Okay? So that's what I got on my all signs read because said you were the last one. So, um, 
with that being said that's what i got for you guys and i hope you like it if you do like it it resonates with you at any you know point please do give me a thumbs up as i would appreciate it okay please do subscribe to my channel if you need to know anything it's in the description box okay so that's what i got for you guys for your weekend read um have a good